Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Captain Bill Bosporus and great to see you everyone on this flight. Uh, a domestic flight from uh, Ordegirason Airport to Trabzon, which will be a very short uh, flight. It's about uh, 80 or 90 uh, nautical miles, uh, which we have about uh, 24 minutes uh, air time for this flight. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, let me give you some information about this flight before we go uh, into the briefing. Um, we have 160 passengers on board and about 7,500 kilogram uh, cargo. Um, yeah, let's go to the briefing and let's start after that the flight. So, uh, this is the flight plan, as you can see uh, from Ordu Girasun Airport, uh, we are flying to Trabzon, uh, which will be uh, totally 80 nautical miles, we will be uh, fly this uh, 19 minutes, it's a pretty short flight, we will do the cruising flight level at uh, 090, so uh, it's a quite short flight, and as you can see we will start from parking uh, 5 and then uh, starting the engines push back and lining up on runway uh, 1 0 and then we will be take off and we will use standard instrument departure from uh, Ordu Girasun uh, Ipsa 1 uniform uh, 1 and then uh, we continuing on the flight plan and we are Going for Trabzon, ILS approach 11. Uh, arrival from uh, Teme 1 Delta. So, uh, as you can see, many planes are flying there. Uh, let's have a look to the flight conditions. Uh, everything is live, 10.35 UTC time, and my weather uh, won't be present right now. But I can tell you uh, that the Metar from for the Girasun, um, wind will be from 030 at 4 knots and sky view more than 10 kilometers, few clouds at 1200 and scattered clouds at 3500. Temperature is uh, pretty good, 27 degrees, dew point is uh, 21 and QNH is 1013. At uh, Trap Zone we have uh, the meter codes. Uh, same as uh, departure airfield, wind is from 0 30 at 5 knots and view is more than 10 kilometers. Scattered clouds at 3,500, temperature uh, same 27 and dew point 20. QNH is 1013, no significant change um, at this airfield. All right, that was the briefing, and now we are ready to start up everything on the aircraft, and let's go in the flight plan. Uh, first, we're gonna check in into the cockpit. Uh, let's start everything. Um, let me look if the flight plan is already filled by the co-pilot. As you can see, everything is filled. We have uh, set up this V speeds. V1 at 140. Uh, rotate 148, V2 at 151 and the transition altitude we put one uh, 5000 feet. We're gonna use flaps 1 at trim settings 1.0 there we go and temperature is 27 uh, the takeoff uh, excuse me this is for the flex uh, takeoff so we let it on 20 and let's have a look to the next page cruise descent approach um, QNH 1013 temperature same as the departing airfield and let me check the matter again we had went from 0 30 at 5 knots 5 knots, we put it there 
transition altitude 6000 uh, all right that's all so let's start the APU bleed and turn on the seatbelt sign for all the passengers and we will wait a while until uh, starting up the um, APU bleed QNH is set to 1013 and our initial climb flight level will be uh, 090 on heading uh, 10. So let's do that. Speed boost 165. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all may right. I, have your attention, please? I think the uh, everything is um, ready. And our score code is 5532, as we said it. And before we go, it is really handy to get all the radio nav uh, information uh, in this MCDU. Uh, let me look again to the ILS approach chart for Trabzon. In the meantime, uh, I'm checking that out uh, from the Jefferson charts. Um, let me look, ILS, Zulu and Yankee, we uh, use Yankee. As you can see, uh, approach from Ekpit on 3000 feet, heading 107. And then, um, at a distance of 8 or 9.0 from Trabzon, we're going to start uh, on the glide path uh, for the final approach. As you can see, okay, that was the uh, approach chart. Uh, the frequency must be 109.1 uh, as we put it here, and the VOR for the airport is 114.9 course heading uh, 107 there we put it alright let's go back to the flight plan and start up the engines here we go Let's use the ignition starter and then start with engine number two. Before we do that, beacon lights on. Here we go. Right, engine number two is available. Let's start engine number one. Right, we are gonna setting flaps on one position. 
koltuğunuzu bir duruma getiriniz. Ayak desteği, ekran ve kumandanız. You see how, how nice and smooth it went uh, to uh, position one. All right, uh, the trim setting is 1.0. Set and checked. Uh, spoilers armed. Right. Right, so we are actually ready for taxiing. Let's uh, turn on the taxi lights. Run my turn off lights. And let's do this on, on po off position. Uh, turn on the wing lights. And we turn off the exit power, external power and APU bleed. So we turn it off. And the APU master switch we turn that off as well all right we are now ready for taxiing so we're gonna release the park brake and there we go we give a little bit power on the trust levers so, so we have to make a smooth turn here on the ramp this uh, a little bit uh, busy Let's turn on the flight director. It is also strictly right. prohibited to smoke in the lavatories, which are equipped with smoke detectors. Should there be a loss of cabin pressure, oxygen masks will drop down automatically. Pull the nearest mask. Place it over your nose and mouth. Pull the straps to adjust your mask. Before we entering the runway, we always check if there is uh, any traffic. Uh, so from the holding point, we gonna make a left turn. And then backtracking on the runway, 10. And we always uh, keep an eye on the uh, <coughs> ground speed, which will be a maximum uh, speed of uh, 30 knots. Look at that, how beautiful place this is, uh, Girasun, the northern of Turkey, uh, northeast. The Black Say. We will see more after takeoff and on the landing. There is runway one zero lined up. Setting the parking brakes and we turn on the <coughs> Charlie mode. All and the landing lights. And we take off lights, strobe lights, and everything is okay. So we are actually ready to go. Uh, we put also the ILS frequency, everything is put in and yeah, we are ready. So uh, release the parking brake. Forty trust set.
Alright, we are waiting for the V1. V1 and rotate. V2, pause the rate, gear up. Nice to see that. Pilot. All right, everything looks fine. Let's turn off the arm position. Right, we are now um, directing to Charlie Bravo 720 and climbing further to um, flight level 090. And in the meantime, we are reaching um, 200 feet, so we will be uh, flaps up. We have reached uh, flight level 040, so we are expecting uh, flight level 090. As you can see, we are climbing further. Uh, speed raising up and in this flight we will stay below uh, flight level 100 so the sw speed will be uh, maximum 250 below uh, 10,000 feet so uh <coughs> um, for the approach let's turn the uh, ILS frequency when it will be available we will see it on the primary flight display so speed reached and uh, we passed flight level 050 and as you can see everything goes very well right now look at that huge clouds it looks like a monster beautiful weather at Black Sea northeast of Turkey Right, we will be at Tamil at uh, 7700. That's on the approach.
Alright, we are passing Charlie Bravo 7 to 0 and then we go to Ipsat Arlot and after that to Temel and on Temel we must be on flight level 77 um, um, look let's do 777 goes let's start the uh, approach activate approach phase yeah let's confirm that um, we will check the decision height on the chart uh, let me look transition altitude should be 12,000 so we have to do that 12,000 bit too late with that transition altitude so uh, we have flown all the time um, on altitude levels not flight levels so as you can see we are descending speed uh, 220 maximum um, let me look if you can get more information. ILS decision uh, height refer to minimums. Uh, upper on elevation 105. Localizer is set. Final course 107. All right. Um, let's have a look to the missed approach page. Uh, climb straight ahead after passing 800 feet. Turn left. Intercept uh, 0 to 9 from VOR and DB. Climb to three and a half thousand, then turn left, climbing to six thousand, to VOR and hold. Refer to minimums for missed approach climb gradients. All right, we've got that. All right, uh, on Eggpit we should be uh, three thousand. Maximum holding speed is two thirty. Alright, I've got that. Um, let me look on the flight plan. After yeah, Eggpit should be there, 3000. Yeah, Trabzon 110 zero, or 11. One one. And then after that, we go to Eggpit. Temel. Alright. Eggpit 3000. That should be okay. Alright, let's. Uh, filled it in right now but don't uh, accept it to, to go to 3300 we will wait with that um, until reaching uh, Temel of course after that we will descend immediately and it is uh, mandatory to hold this uh, altitudes and speed We don't uh, have to worry about it because uh, the autopilot will uh, bring us um, to the runway. Great. Let's have a look again from the right wing. Some beautiful place here over at Turkey great destination there are a lot of uh, great airports of the uh, northern and southern uh, of Turkey which will be uh, which I will be show in the in the future more places more airports so uh, I hope you uh, all gonna enjoy this guys and sometimes we have live streams stay tuned on the channel and for more information on the for the live streams you can check it out on the home page uh, on YouTube channel right for the descending uh, briefing uh, for the landing is QNH 1013 we already did it on the briefing I told you and these are the information 
temperature 27 went from 0 30 at 5 knots transition altitude 12,000 uh, approach speed is uh, 157 and the landing speed should be 152 final approach ILS uh, 11 decision height uh, should be around uh, uh, 2 or 100 feet let's do 100 feet we're configuring uh, flaps 3 for the landing look at that rainbow below Right, let's uh, start descending uh, 3,000 feet. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are descending to land, please be seated, fasten your seat belts, adjust your seats to the upright position, and close your tray table. <laughs> that approach you can see the ground coming closer and closer and we are almost passing six and a half thousand feet and we are uh, passing Temel right now so we are on a good way we're continuing descending to three thousand three hundred Let's have a look from the co-pilot uh, window. Everything looks great here. Nice clouds. Above the ground and you will see nothing on the above the sea. So that's really great to see that. By the way, I'm using uh, high settings for uh, for everything, for the clouds as well, uh, the textures. Don't need to get it on ultra high. When we will descend to 3,300 after uh, Tango Bravo November 11, mm. that should not a good idea. See that it makes uh, a diff. It should be impossible. This it's not uh, great to see this um, bug in the aircraft. It scare me a little bit out, and all the passengers. So we're gonna speeding down. Let's use the spoilers a little bit. So 
So we have more time for uh, reaching 2300. Right, we are um, at 3,300. Let's have a look on the distance. Let's turn on the VOR. filled okay and the VOR uh, not yet it should be 114.90 of course heading 287 I thought we put this uh, already so we are um, West or inbound I at Tango Breath in November on uh, 15 miles. So we will start uh, 9 miles uh, before uh, TBN VOR for the uh, ILS approach. Uh, speed is okay. Maximum speed should be 230, but we are uh, on 200. It's okay. Uh, altitude is okay, so we are waiting for the ILS approach. We we'll already um, captured the localizer, and we are in the meantime waiting for um, for the glide slope. Let's push the ILS button, approach button. All right. Now we are on the approach. There it is. Glide slope alive. Let's do flaps too. <coughs> Lower gear. Established on ILS 11, uh, drop zone, 3,300 feet. And we are going good, but let's change the speed to 157 before we broke the um, flaps. Right, landing checklist: uh, gear down, green lights, and auto brake uh, low. Set and checked. Um, flaps three for the landing. Spoilers. Armed, checked, advise cabin crew, prepare for a landing, and we are good to go. Let's go to the landing speed, uh, 152. Flaps three.
let's slow down a little bit and use the spoilers to capture the glide pad. Turned off the uh, auto throttle to get the uh, glide slope. Five hundred. Five hundred about minimums. Four hundred. Landing. Autopilot off. 300. 200. 100. 60. 50. 40. 30. 20. Retard. Five. Spoilers. That's what I'm meaning uh, with the bug on the system. I gave uh, fully right uh, on the landing but uh, it should go straight I don't know why um, this pick is uh, very uh, frustrating 60 knots right we are on time release the auto brake spoilers down and detent tracking the flaps Turning off the landing lights, strobe lights off, starting APU and taxiing on the runway, back track and then parking. So you see this uh, great place, uh, Trabzon, where we have been uh, a lot of time here. But um, yeah, the landing was uh, actually um, not good for because the reason for that is uh, some bug in the um, in the system. Every time when it updates, some functionality doesn't work uh, really great. But it's fine. No worry about that. We will uh, change the tires on the ground. Right, let's get back for the turn. It's uh, rainy a little bit, so <laughs> we are on time. Turn off the flight director and the frequency for the ILS. It's a great uh, turn. Let's use the wipers. Let's have a look if does it work. Uh, works fine. the turn point for the taxiway
taxiway uh, Alpha. Look at that, some lights uh, are not good. They're uh, on the taxiway. This scenery looks great. Look all that uh, ground personal and aircraft on the ground. Let's use uh, fictional parking. Let's park straight off the uh, terminal. We're gonna using the second. There we go. Breaking for the turn. Parking brake set. Let's turn off the Vipers and um, let's uh, check out the uh, play on the landing. And then after that, we will turn off the engines. Right, captains, thank you very much for watching this uh, flight. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe on the channel if you want to see more live streams and uh, landing and takeoff videos. And yeah, like the video if you like it. Hope to see you next time and uh, have a nice day.